my criteria in looking for an acting class is always I want to know the reputation of the teacher. I want to know do they work with professional actors or are they just an acting class? It's important that they have a good reputation because their name is going to go on my resume. I also want to know how long they've been in business and who they studied under. For me, acting class, it really doesn't matter if you're just starting out as an actor or you've been in the game for a long time. It's the same criteria. You want somebody who cares about the actors, who really wants to help you be the best actor you are and is not a cookie cutter acting teacher. I don't want somebody who's giving me the same size that they've given everybody else in the class and we're all working off of the same sides. And sides are a couple of pages from a script or it could be a couple of pages from a play. I need to know that that teacher sees who I am and sees what I sell and they're giving me appropriate parts to work on it because as an actor I'm doing this because I want to I want a career I I don't want to waste time doing parts that I'm never going to get hired for you know so part of it is knowing what it is that you sell so when you go into an acting class and you're working with a teacher that you know what you sell so that you're you're sharpening your skill set according to how you're going to be cast not just for your ego i mean that should come later on in your life you know once you've been working for a long time and you go you know what i want to branch out i know this is what i play but i'd like to try my hand at shakespeare or i'd like to try my hand doing comedy if you were doing drama for a long time that's different but when you're first starting out you must uh focus on what it is that you sell when you go into a casting office or when you go to an agent's office you better know what it is that you bring to the table and so being in an acting class if i know that what i sell is young hip urban I- i'm going to work on parts that sharpen me as that character or or that type pay attention to the classes i would suggest you audit every class you can watch every teacher's style of teaching so you you know because some teachers are a little hard they're they're a little rough with the students some teachers are very gentle some teachers are very efficient they don't really want to get to know you it's like okay did you do a b c and d that i asked you to to do you did it okay great so i think that auditing classes are a must before you sign up for a class sit in the class audit they charge anywhere maybe from thirty dollars to fifty dollars for an audit and you can see firsthand do you like it hey how are the students in the class do you feel comfortable there so my criteria is great acting teacher um, great references their reputation is stellar because for me i want to be with an acting teacher that takes their students to oscar that's important to me not just working but they have students that have gone to the oscars and there are not that many teachers that have done that but they are out here so that's you know that's that's what I'm looking for. But why would I not want the best teacher? Right. I'll say to somebody, the kids that I mentor now, and I'll say to them, you know, hey, who are you studying with? Oh, it's this guy. How'd you meet? Well, someone told me, do you like the teacher? Well, she's okay. I never was in that class. She's okay. Ever. We always wanted the best. I didn't even think that I wanted it. It wasn't a want. It was like, it was like an assumption that why would I go to anybody else who wasn't? And for you actors that have been in it for a longer time, this is my secret. This, this, nobody's gonna hear this, right? No. Okay. I'm a vampire, okay? <laughs> I truly am. So you go to an acting class or you're around actors that, been, that are seasoned, that have been around, there's a little jadedness. There has to be. You've been in it for a while, you get a little tired, but you go into an acting class 
and there's young people right. with dreams and aspirations. I hook that up like, you know, I yes. suck that right into yes. it and I'm like, and I get rejuvenated right. because you ride on that energy and it's all about energy. I think I had a good foundation and I continued to study. It, it didn't end. It doesn't end. Yes. I, you know, even the other day I was like picking up Joanna Merlin's audition book and going, okay, how can I make this audition better like how can I work this mm -hmm. what am I missing you know mm -hmm. in my auditioning because mm -hmm. I think you, we go through roller coasters of yes when you know there's something that's really connecting you're connecting with material you're doing the work and then other times you know I'm sitting there going I don't want to do this like I hate this why I have an audition like I literally <laughs> freak out oh my god is that an audition you oh my god it doesn't god. stop it, it doesn't, doesn't stop, stop. In, in class class is great you should go in there, you should be bold. Some class teachers will teach you to be a star. I was in a lot of classes that wanted me to be a big star. I already was a big star in my head. I didn't have to learn to be a big star. It never was the right thing for me. I'm a character actor. Oh, I see. So but you see, didn't now, have the option. ethnically diverse yes. and ethnically ambiguous is, is the hot ticket for English speaking, Spanish speaking, for anything. To just have sort of a look that's like, what is she? Where's she from? You know, that's that's attractive. What I am impressed with is not only that you have commercials, you have improv, you have acting, you have the Spanish classes, and you have children yeah, and youth kids. classes. That's going on right now. I love that it's all in one house. Yes. What made you want to do that? I think Francine Selkirk really inspired me. Um, I mean, she is a casting director and, and was a... a friend of mine as well and um, she really saw where uh, people needed training. She was the one who encouraged me to do a senior class for seniors and I do once a month I do a free seniors class and I love these people. So you know everybody needs training and everybody's training um, is usually using the same techniques but there's you know for seniors they need to um, usually deliver the copy a little faster. For kids, they need to slow down. For kids, they need to feel that they can um, have fun up there. So there's different certain um, adjustments for each person. That's why you break the classes into specific niches for each each group. Because you get an audition once every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. So if you're in an acting class, an audition class, and you have an, you know you have an audition once a week, that muscle is exercised so that you're doing it then when you have an audition it's not like oh my god I have an audition oh it's just like Ken's class where I just did an audition now I have to do it here so I try to make a professional audition in a class exactly like an audition out in the big world so in the big world they need you to nail it you need to get callbacks my purpose in an audition class is to get people first time to nail it because a lot of the times you only have that one time in an acting class you get to work on it a little bit in terms of audition class but the purpose is to get callbacks first time and then you gotta you know you gotta come in really prepared actors need to do the work there are a lot of people making projects and you find these people a lot in acting classes that's where you network yes you know, going to a party and seeing a casting director and hounding them yes. Yes. You go, you meet people, you collaborate. I have been invited to many sets because of the connections that I've made. And I do it with love and I do it with honor. And I give them just as much of myself than I would for a big TV production. Because you never know. And you don't do it just because you never know. You do it because you honor your craft. Where does study acting in Los Angeles take two? I've been working in Los Angeles as an actor for almost four decades. And one of the things that I know that it is daunting sometimes. To figure out where to study acting in Los Angeles. There's so many schools, so many teachers, and not enough resources. So today I have a bit of a cheat sheet for you to help you with some of the high caliber acting studios that I think are perfect for you. So the first one I want to mention is Keep It Real Acting Studio. The owner is an incredible actress named Judy Kane who has won tons of Clio awards. For those of you who don't know what Clio is, it's the equivalent of Oscar in the commercial field. And Judy has done hundreds upon hundreds of commercials. So not only is Judy a woman of excellence, integrity, and she loves 
acting, but she also loves her students. And the great thing about her studio is that all the actors there are working actors. So you are in good hands. The great thing about Judy is that she not only has commercial classes, but she also has acting classes. She also has improv classes and classes on branding and headshots. How perfect is that? She also offers classes for teens, seniors, and people who speak Spanish. You can't go wrong at Keep It Real Acting Studio. They offer everything and they have great teachers teaching those classes. So check them out. The next studio that I want to bring to your attention is the Richard Lawson Studio. First of all, Richard has been acting for 50 years. The man knows his stuff. Not only is he a brilliant actor, but he's also a gifted teacher and a generous teacher. I mean, not only does he have acting classes for the students, he has cold reading classes, self-tape classes, and most importantly, I think, he has classes to help the actors work on their own projects. Not many schools offer that. I don't, I don't know any other school that offers that, but Richard is committed to help the actor be self-sufficient, not wait for the phone to ring to give them jobs, but he's like, hey, do your own project. That's the man I love. I love somebody who says, do your own stuff and shows them how to do it. He engages the actor in creating projects for themselves. He motivates them. He teaches them not only the craft of acting, but he encourages them in the business of acting. And he also is a big believer of community. So at his studio, it's all about building community with, with the other actors. So you have somebody to do scenes with. You have somebody who, who will help you with your co-reading or will help you with your self-tape. I love that kind of bonding. I love that kind of camaraderie at a studio. It's necessary for actors. Check out Richard Lawson Studios if that's the kind of attention and kind of support that you're looking for. Next on the list is the Margie Haber Acting Studio. Margie Haber is the premier cold reading acting teacher. I mean, she crushes it when it comes to cold reading. She has a book called How to Get the Part Without Falling Apart, which offers incredible insight and valuable information when you're trying to do your auditions. But what I love more than her book is her studio because not only is she a great teacher, but she has wonderful teachers working with her. She not only teaches acting classes, co-reading classes, audition classes, she also has classes for teens, adults, not to mention, if you are not skilled in self-tape and you need help, you can go to Margie Haber and they will self-tape your audition for you for a fee, of course, but that's fabulous. They will help you out. Then there is the Spizer Sturgis Studio. They're phenomenal with comics and celebrities. One of the things that I like about Aaron Spizer that, that I saw him do years ago was take road comics and help them deliver performances on camera that were award-winning. Aaron Spizer is phenomenal with actors and comedians, celebrities like The Rock, Jennifer Lopez, Marlon Wayans. I mean, he just is amazing. And he is serious about the work, just like Howard Fine. Howard Fine is another great acting teacher who has a wonderful studio. I love Howard Fine because he is old school. He teaches the hard way. It's like he is about making sure you deliver the goods and he is great at helping actors get rid of their bad habits. Not only that, if you don't do the work in Howard's class, he will ask you to leave, which I love because you really need to be serious about your acting classes. 
Don't be go rolling in there when you want. Maybe you do the work. Maybe you don't know. He's not about that. You got to deliver the work every time you go to his class. That way, when you go out in the world to audition or get on set, you are fully loaded. One other little thing that I love about Howard is that years ago, Howard bought Her Majesty to his studios in Hollywood to teach master classes, which I think is amazing. I mean, nobody else did that. That, that shows you how bad Howard Fine really is. I mean, he just made the one and only Uta Hagen come out and teach master classes at his place. Phenomenal. Not only does Howard teach acting classes, but he also teaches script analysis and co-reading classes as well as self-tape classes. And he also has some great teachers teaching on camera classes and voice and speech classes. You'll love Howard. He, he is amazing. And I would be remiss if I didn't share with you Ivana Chubbuck Studios because that's kind of where I started from. Not with Ivana, but with Roy London. And from Roy London came Ivana Chubbuck and thus Ivana Chubbuck Studios. She has a book called The Power of the Actor and I highly recommend you get this book because it will help you strengthen your acting. The great thing about Ivana's technique and Ivana's coaching is that she takes people to Oscar. Oh yes, she does. She took Halle Berry to Oscar. She took Sylvester Stallone to Oscar and Charlize Theron to Oscar. So if you want to be an Oscar winning award actor, you might want to go to Ivana's class. So let me know in the comments what acting classes you think are fabulous. want to take acting classes but you are on a very tight budget my advice to you is to start saving find out the class that you want to take and if you don't know it audit the classes and then find out what the cost of those classes are monthly um, and because most of them charge monthly you might be able to take a series of eight classes for about $450 or $600 I would say start an acting fund for yourself. Put your money away and then take the class when you can. So if you want to take a, a class with a prominent person, which would probably cost you about 400, anywhere between 350, $500 for the month, then you need to save up at least three months of, of classes before you go to take the class. And until you get to do that while you're saving your money, then watch stuff on YouTube, online, read books, acting books. But it is very difficult to pursue acting and you have no money because you have to pay for so many things when, when I started, I had a full-time job and I kept a full-time job for the first seven years that I was pursuing my acting because I needed to have a car, I needed to have an apartment, I needed to get headshots, I needed to take acting classes and I couldn't do that without a daytime job. I was very lucky that I found a job that would allow me to go to auditions when I had to and work late to make up the hours. So I would say find some kind of steady income. It doesn't have to be a nine to five job, but maybe you have a skill set that you can make money at on the weekends that will give you the rest of the week to yourself and give you enough money to be able to take care of your bills as well as take care of your acting classes. I know a lot of people who drive Ubers or Lyfts. They are um, not waiters, but they're bartenders because you make more money as a bartender than you do as a waiter. So to in order for you to support your acting career, especially if you're just starting out, you really need to have steady income coming in. Being a, a struggling artist is not going to work to your benefit. Why? Because 
you come in desperate and the people on the other side of the table can smell it and they don't want you anywhere near them because you're you're not really about the craft at that moment you're about i need this job i gotta pay my bill get out of that mentality get some kind of work that's steady that's regular don't take acting classes until you have money to take classes